Shalom, ya Shivala. Shalom. Kala layam, ala hayanawa, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Raka Kodash, the honors to the apostles and elders of great Muslim who teach one rule who taught me this truth. Peace and salutation to the Akim, the federal laborers, the hope for the elect, pushing this truth, a rich of the own life throughout the four corners of the earth. To the Akwath listening, listening, and learning, Shalom. And this is your brother Shema from the Pillars of Benjamin camp. And uh, the title of this lesson The Mighty Petrodollar Through the Spirit and Power of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. The Mighty Petrodollar, right? And uh, this article just came out today on Natural News. Thursday, March 17th, Salah came out yesterday on the Natural News. Thursday, March 17th, 2022. The year of Yahawah by Shem Yahushai turning it up. And the title of this article, Countdown to Collapse of the Petrodollar. America's dollar dominance is coming to a sudden catastrophic end. Total chaos will follow. All right? And we're seeing a... Uh, we're seeing things manifest. We're seeing everything manifest written about in the scriptures, man. You know? Alright? And it reads, Project Sandman describes a uh, an 100 plus nation agreement that, when triggered, will see those nations simultaneously dump the dollar and abandon the petrodollar status that has allowed the U.S. to enjoy 50 years a fiat, fiat currency counterfeiting and material abundance at the expense of everyone else, right? And this 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 opening paragraph is what inspired this lesson, right? But they're saying Project Natural News is saying Project Sandman, you know, a hundred plus a hundred plus nation agreement, right? So what this article is implying is that these other nations plan. To sim simultaneously, collectively dump the dollar, right? And this scripture came to mind. Obadiah 1, verse 7, and it reads, All the men of thy confederacy, confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. There is none understanding in him, right? And these are the nations... Right, scriptures tell you these other nations are going to be against America the Great. I wanted to read some of the other translations. Uh, the NLT, all your allies will turn against you. They will, help, they will help to chase you from your land. They will promise you peace while plotting to deceive and destroy you. Your trusted friends will set traps for you. And you won't even know about it, right? And we're seeing, and, and this this article implies that these other nations are, are in the know of something, right? Right? To simultaneously dump the greenback. Right? It says, it goes on to say, the petrodollar status has allowed the, the, the U.S. to enjoy 50 years of fiat currency, counterfeiting, and material abundance at the expense of everyone else, right? And that, that, brought, out, that, that brought this scripture to mind. Right, Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 6 Shall not all these take up a parable against him? Right, these are the nations Right, against who? Against America the Great Babylon the Great And a taunting proverb against him and say Woe to him that increases that which is not his Woe to him, destruction to him So all these other nations are saying This, this, this nation that has increased With things that are not, that, that are not, that are not belonging to him You know, destruction to him Right How long? And to him that ladeth himself with thick clay, right? And you look into this word thick clay in the Hebrew. Ab, ab, ab teeth, right? In the Hebrew, with thick clay. Strong's H, 5671, Avtit, Avtit. Right. Weight of pledges, heavy debts, right? Isn't America the great Babylon the great? Trillions. The last time I, uh, the last time I, I, I heard, 
There was 26, I believe, $26 trillion of debt. Right? $26 trillion of debt. Right? This is the state of America the Great, Babylon the Great. She can't be healed. Right? America the Great is circling the drain. Right? Habakkuk 2, verse 6, once again. So not all these take up a parable against him. Right? These other nations take up a parable against America the Great, Babylon the Great. And a taunting proverb against him. And say, woe, destruction, to him that increaseth that which is not his. How long? And to him that ladeth himself with thick clay. To him that ladeth himself with, with debt. America the Great. Trillions of dollars in debt, man. Right? Trillions of dollars. Once again, the petrodollar status that has allowed the, the U.S. to enjoy 50 years of fiat currency paper money, counterfeiting a material abundance at the expense of everyone else. Doesn't it say in Revelation, she's lived deliciously, deliciously. Revelation 18, verse 7. How much she hath glorified herself, America, Glorified herself, she proud. America the Great, Babylon the Great, and live deliciously. Live deliciously. Let's look into this word deliciously, man. All right, and this is America. Strain, strain, ne, neao in, in the Greek. Strong's G, 4763, strain, neao, strain, neao. Strainy Ao. To be wanton. To live luxuriously. To live luxurious. Live deliciously. Right. America the Great. The land of milk and honey. Revelation 18, verse 7, once again. How much she hath glorified herself and lived deliciously. So much torment and sorrow give her, right? This is ultimately what's going to befall America the Great. Torment and sorrow. For she saith in her heart, her heart, her heart being mind, this is what she says to herself, I said a queen, and am no widow, and shall see no sorrow, right? American the Great. Americans believe nothing, nothing will befall them, man. Right? But the scriptures say different. Back to this article once again. The petrodollar status, the petrodollar status that has allowed U.S. to enjoy 50 years of fiat currency, counterfeiting a material abundance, living luxuriously, at the expense of everyone else. When this decision is triggered, the dollar and all dollar-denominated assets, right? When 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 this Project Sandman is triggered, right, will plunge to near zero, literally, overnight. This means all dollar-denominated bank accounts, bonds pension funds, treasuries, and other investment vehicles will essentially be worth zero for the simple reason that all banks and markets will freeze operations. Any funds you have in the stock market will be stuck in those markets, and their entire infrastructure of banking and finance will suffer a catastrophic liquidity crisis that will freeze nearly all financial transactions. Right, and, and, and when this happens, listen, the, the, the stock market crash that we saw I believe it was 08. I believe it was 08. It's going to be nothing compared to this uh, this crash that's that's coming, right? And on a worldly scale, but we're we're, we're talking about America the Great, Babylon the Great, because this is the only way they're going to be able to bring in their uh their their device, their Revelation 13 verse 16 on down, right? Zephaniah 1 verse 11. How ye inhabitants of Maktesh. Maktesh was an ancient city of trade, of merchants. A valley near Jerusalem. Right? It was it was what the the equivalent of today of uh, 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 what we'd say the 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 financial district or 
or or or stock market. Salaka. Located south of uh, Beersheba in the central Negev. Right, a valley surrounded by steep walls. We read that in the blue letter. Salak Salak You know what? Let's look into the uh where were we? Zephaniah. Let's look into the uh, commentary. How ye inhabitants, Zephaniah 1 verse 11. How ye inhabitants of Mektesh, right? Howl, lament, mourn, deep sorrow. For all the merchant people are cut down. All they that bear silver shall be cut off. Right? So let's look into the commentary. Mektesh. So go with this one says Chuck Smith. Salak. These are streams. Okay. We'll go here. All right. So this 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 place, America the Great, you know, a financial collapse is coming. Right? Thus saith the scriptures. It is coming. Right? And we're seeing the, the telltale telltale signs. Right? Scriptures say, watch as well as pray. Us in this truth, the hopeful elect, Lord willing, we're of that number. We're watching. Right? Zephaniah 1 verse 11. All right. One to seven. Barnes note says, How ye inhabitants of Maktesh, literally mortar, in which Jerome says, Corn is pounded, a hollow vessel, and fit for the use of medical men, in which properly I won't be beaten. Not that. Cheese makers. Right. 
So the, the, the Canaanites and the Phoenicians were the chief traders in, Pal in, in Palestine. Right? The chief traders in, in, in Maktesh at the, t at the time. Right? The merchant people. Right? So Maktesh was a city of merchants. All inhabitants of, of the mortar, for all the people of Canaan are destroyed. Cut off are all that are laden with silver, in order to express the thought that the judgment will not spare any one class of the population. Zephaniah depicts the lamentation, which will rise from from which will arise from all parts of the city. A loud cry of anguish will arise or resound. The fish gate was in the eastern portion of the wall which bounded the lower city on the northern side. Con. So America the Great, Babylon the Great, The name mortar was probably coined by Zephaniah to point to the fate of the merchants and men of money who live there. They who dwell there shall howl because of all the people of Canaan are destroyed. These are not Canaanitish or Phoenician merchants, but Judean merchants who resemble the Canaanites or Phoenicians in their general business and have grown rich through the trade and usury, right? This right here is, is accurate. Right? That's why you can't, um, Salak. You gotta read, you gotta read the, the, the different, different commentaries. A lot of times they, they uh, a lot of times they, 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 they uh, they go off. These guys that, uh, Write these uh, commentaries. Let's read this once again. The name mortar was prob probably coined by Zephaniah to point to the fate of the merchants and men of money who live there. They who dwell there shall howl because of all the people of Canaan are destroyed. These are not Canaanitish or Phoenician merchants, but Judean merchants who resemble the Canaanites or Phoenicians in their general business and have grown rich through the trade and luxury. Natel, Natil Kesef laden with silver. Right, so... We just read, right? This is this is the this is the this is the collapse that is coming to America, man. Right? Verse twelve, and it shall come to pass. Oh, that's it on that. Yeah. So this uh, this is this is this is in reference to the the, the financial district, man. Right? The stock, the stock market, the banking system. Let's read this article. Let's continue with this article. Any funds you have in the stock market, right, will be stuck in those markets and the entire infrastructure of banking and finance will suffer a catastrophic liquidity crisis that will freeze nearly all financial transactions. Credit cards will stop functioning. Food stamp systems will go down and stay down. ATMs will not function. Wire transfers will be halted. Checks won't be honored. And banks will appear to be offline when accessed through the Internet displaying maintenance messages to panicked users, right? And in, the, in this time that's coming, and in that time, when this happens, let's get a scripture. Second Ezra 6. Friends shall fight one another like enemies, man. All hell gonna break loose. <laughs> People aren't gonna show no mercy to, the, to, to, to their neighbor. Second Ezra 6. Salak. Second Ezra six, you see that's Satan. Second Ezra six Chapter Second Ezra six, 
Second Ezra 6, verse 24, and it reads, At that time shall friends fight one another, at that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies, and the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. The springs of the fountain shall stand still, and in three hours they shall not run. Right? What is it saying? Friends are going to fight one another like enemies. Everyone's going to be fearful. Vibration of fear. And the spring shall not run. That's uh, water issues, man. Springs and the fountain shall stand still, and in three hours they shall not run. Right? That's a specific time where there's no water. Let's go on with this article. The dollar collapse is a deliberate plan to force the starving masses into a digital dollar control gate. This scenario has been, engineered, has been engineered for a deliberate collapse of the dollar, fiat currency, paper money, and an attempted forcing of everyone into a digital dollar system, right? This is going into the Revelation 13 verse 16 on down. Run by the bankers. In the midst of the panic, people will be promised a UBI. We've been speaking about this. Universal basic income and food credits, food rationing will be strictly enforced, but only if they use the approved digital wallet system run by the very same criminals who spent the last 50 years looting the value of the dollar. Desperate people will comply and they will set their souls, they will sell their souls and their freedom in exchange for a few more meals, even while their futures are obliterated by the, we see it here, right? Right? That will forever keep them enslaved and impoverished. The, legi the, leg the illegitimate occupying government of America is currently pumping out trillions. This guy, you guys, this guy said illegitimate. Uh, yeah, all motherfuckers voted them in, man. Right? It's currently pumping out trillions of dollars in fiat currency as its final desperate act to loot the system. Before its final collapse. War with Russia is just a cover story. For this engineered collapse. And the long planned takedown. Of, of America. While the traders at the top. Fill their bank accounts with stolen loot. When the petrodollar collapses. And the banks freeze. Riots will begin. Almost immediately. Yeah. yeah listen. Almost immediately. Listen, when people when, when people when people's backs are against the walls, right? Isaiah uh, nineteen, Isaiah chapter nineteen, Isaiah chapter nineteen, verse verse two, and it reads. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, right? Spiritual Egypt, spiritual Sodom, right? Revelation 11, verse 8. That's America, right? And they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor, city against city and kingdom against kingdom, right? These, 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 this is when Jacob's trouble is in full bloom, man. Back to this paragraph. When the petrodollar collapses and the banks freeze, riots will begin almost immediately in every major U.S. city. Total chaos will reign as the desperate, ob oblivious, unprepared masses murder each other while attempting to find food, water, and ammunition. The collapse of the rule of law will be shockingly rapid. The collapse of the rule of law. It will be all, it will be all hell breaking loose. Second Ezra chapter 15. Right? And we're here to warn. We're, we're here to warn. We're blowing the trumpet. No one else is blowing the trumpet. People out here in the mirth spirit, people out here in, the, in, in that prosperity spirit, this place is through. Second Ezra 15, verse 14, it reads, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Woe, destruction. For the sword and the destruction draweth nigh. What's the sword? Modern day gun, right? And one people shall stand to fight against another, and swords in their hands. Armed people against one, one set of armed people against another set of armed people. Militia's gonna be out here, right? They're gonna be ca they're gonna be caste wars, class wars. For there shall be sedition among men. Sedition is rebellion, and invading one another. They shall not regard the kings nor princes. They're not gonna be listening to their their governments. 
nor the police, nor the martial law. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. They're going to do, they, they do what they want. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. That's them checkpoints. You're not going to be able to travel freely. For because of the pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed. And men shall be afraid. Right? There's going to be invading of one another's houses. People are going to be in a vibration of fear. Right? This is coming to America. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. Verse 19. But shall destroy their houses with the sword. Right? A man's going to roll up in the next man's house armed. Right? His neighbor. And spoil their goods. Spoil means to take, rob. Why? Because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Lack of bread and great tribulation. There's going to be no food out here. Right? Or just read the sentence again. Total chaos will reign as the desperate, oblivious, unprepared masses murder each other while attempting to find food. There's going to be no food out here. Right? There can be no food, lack of bread, great tribulation, money system's gonna be down, ATM's gonna be down. The collapse of the rule of law will be shockingly rapid, and no police or national guard units will make a dent in the nationwide chaos. A time like no other, man. Nationwide chaos. Only the rural areas will be safe as local citizens and law enforcement work together. That, that, the, the, nowhere nowhere going to be safe. What does it say about the rural areas? Uh, right. Second is a 15 verse 58. Verse 57. The ch the, thy children shall die of hunger and thou shalt fall through and thou, and thou shalt fall through the sword. Thy city shall be broken down. Right, it's going to be chaos. And all thine shall perish with the sword in the field. Everyone, people are going to be armed. There are going to be militias out here killing one another. Here's the point. They that be in the mountains shall die of hunger. Right? They that be in the rural rural mountains, the rural areas, are going to starve to death and eat their own flesh and drink their own blood for very hunger of bread and thirst of water. Right? This is what's coming, man. Right? This is what's coming. Only the rural areas will be safe as, as local citizens and law enforcement work together to protect local communities from wave after wave of refugees and violent gangs that will spread out from the cities. Justice will be swift for looters, rapists, and child traffickers, while local churches will be overrun with refugees who, pre who previously lived in the collapsing cities. The death wave will accelerate, and within just a few days after the collapse, millions will be at risk of death from lack of basic sanitation. As the streets of democratic-run cities flow with the feces of the crapping masses, with no yeah, because when the power when the when the grid goes down, when everything shuts down, toilets ain't flushing, man. With no functioning power grid, the municipal water supply yeah, we just said that will collapse, as well, right? We just read in our second Ezra, early on, chapter six. The springs of the water shall not run. Entire cities like L.A. will be plunged into a deadly water scarcity scenario that's combined with such violence and lawlessness on the streets that even humanitarian aid organizations will dare not venture into the fray. The bottom line, mass starvation, chaos, lawlessness, violence, disease, and depopulation. Right, all spoken about in the scriptures, men. All spoken about in the scriptures. This is all in the scriptures. Right, beginning with the elder pastors on down. They, beginning with them, they've been telling you this, man. In other words, everything the globalists have wanted for America all along. None of this is an accident. It's all planned. Right? The Spirit of the Lord is, is, on, is on these wicked elites to do this. The Bidens, the Clintons, and even neocons like Bush have been part of this plan from day one. This is the controlled demolition of the, U, of the United States of America, just like Building, building 7. Right, so, so this place, this place is through, right? Right, this place is through. This place is through. But yeah, that's it on that. Just wanted to touch on that, man.
Job 20, verse 22, in the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Right? Straits is a position of difficulty, a difficult time. This is talking about America. Every hand of the wicked, the wicked laborer, shall come upon him. Right? And I believe that's the word for wicked is amal. Yep. Amal. Strong's H, 6001. A male. A male. Laborer, laborer, workman, sufferer. Right, so these elites, right, don't the elites refer to the low, the, 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 to society as goyim, right? These laborers, right, every hand of the labor shall come upon him, right? Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him, right? Let's talk about America the Great, Babylon the Great. But yeah, verse 23, when he is about to fill his belly, the Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him, right? So right when, right when America the Great thinks he's about to chip the whole world, right? When he's about to fill his belly, when he thinks he's about to M-A-R-K the whole world, the Most High going to cast the, his, the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him, right? That's those ICBMs. In tandem with the laser beam from the chariots, shall rain it upon him while he is eating. So he's going to be in the midst of it, in the midst of his campaign, right? The midst of World War Three, right? Still trying to chip people, still trying to chip the masses, right? And the Mosai Al Bashim Al Shai is going to uh, going to rain fire and brimstone by way of those ICBMs and the laser beam from the chariots with the world even cause UFOs while he's in the midst of this, man. Verse 24, he shall flee from the iron weapon, the missiles, and the bow of steel shall strike him through, the missiles. So there's no escape. Right? This is the fate of America the Great, es Esau's kingdom. I pray you're edified. Out of one right to stay prayed up, pray without ceasing. Kwame Asherala, wa. Abad Babal Shalom.